What's up guys, this is The Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So the roundoff happened last time, I shipped my forces from New Spain all the way down the coast to um, Central America to Panama. I managed to beat back the Spanish garrison forces that were in the in the area and then my next step will be to attack Panama itself. Um, <clears throat> It's not a very valuable nation in terms of wealth, but it does produce two exports, coffee and sugar, which, because right now I'm kind of, I'm not relying on trade actually, but trade is very useful, um, is a very valuable resource to have, especially considering that my um, trading partners across the world are being blockaded. And right now I am still at war with just Mexico, um, just Spain. So I will be sending this army. Well, honestly, this army is going to carry on capture Bogota, capture Caracas, and kind of secure the um, the northern coast of South America. I would be tempted to raise a second force back here in Mexico, should ship them over to Mexico, um, over to Cuba, and then Hispaniola to capture these territories here. Then once I've knocked Spain out of the Caribbean, including capturing Trinidad and Tobago. I would try to declare peace, because right now they're the only nation I'm at war with. My research is going slowly, still, because I only have one um, university. Um, but that is growing. Uh, Mexico is gradually becoming happy with me. Um, <clears throat> religious unrest has gone down, industrialization is going to keep going up. So I'd like Mexico to grow, so that I can start building newer um, happiness buildings. Mainly in this town here in Villahermosa. So I'm pretty sure that's the last town. Village. Um, but the growth the population is growing very, very slowly. Anyway, without further ado, let's hit and turn. No. See, I don't know what it is about uh, Quebec in this mod. Um... Because they seem to be just going super hard on trying to get me to give up my most valuable territories, which just is never going to happen. Yeah, so send send one army to the south to secure north northern coast of South America. Send one army to the Caribbean. Then I'd like to send an army up to conquer Texas to, to create a more solid front against North America. Because the Americans have knocked out... Um, the Iroquois Confederacy. So they are pushing westwards. Eventually, they're going to hit the problem of Louisiana, because I'm not sure if there's a way for the US to incorporate Louisiana peacefully, as they did in, in real life. Um, or they could just come around and naval invade me, in which case that would also be very bad. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this. Okay, so for, before I do that. Let's get some more roads going in my core states. I do have a Jesuit college, but it's helpful to have because I only have the one for now. Ooh, a new village is growing in Guatemala. And after that, it's probably the last one. Um, let's do that. Let's just. No, actually, let's. Uh, before we do that, let's replenish this force. And then attack Panama, which I'm just going to water resolve that. And Panama is secured. There you go. I'm not going to have the money to fix everything, but say la vie. I don't even have enough to buy bog standard roads. You can get college built in New Mexico, in Mexico, New Spain. Right, so I've got rid of. Well, Couple of, a few more turns there, and then I'll be free to move my priest. I'll move him probably down to Panama. No, Panama's still quite happy. Santa Fe is happy. I'm going to have to have, have to have a priest in tow ready when I take Texas to offset um, this missionary. And again, building that up to jump my tech by three turns, which is excellent. Once I get fly by rank, I'll, I'll be much more happy. 
cool. Right. I can't do any. Ooh. I see I can trade with Grand Columbia because I've opened a border up with them. No, you know what? Ah. They're not, <laughs> still not entirely happy with me. For now, because we are both fighting the same enemies, we are both fighting Spain, let's trade with the Pueblo Nations. How's that done? What's that done to my money? 7,000. Cool. Oh, my trade is starting to... Oh, no, it's, no. So it's the Ottomans that are being blockaded. You'd start producing more goods. <clears throat> Which ultimately means a second school. And then focus on researching Enlightenment technologies to upgrade my ports. No. Ah, oh, silly Grand Columbia. Oh, sorry, I've got to clear my, clear my nose a second. Radio. Um, so it was a big Spanish stack in Cuba. Is that something to bear in mind? I was laying into the Barbary states, not letting them get a penny. Um, doesn't seem to be... Well, the major European power that's emerging at the minute, I can see on this tiny little map down here, is Austria. Austria, looks by the looks of it, has knocked out Poland. Well, a combination of Russia and Austria have knocked out Poland. Pretty much. Maybe, maybe there might be a small stronghold, maybe around about here. Let's have a look. Oh, excellent. A new gentleman. Put him in the school. Metal roads and new mines. Yep, so the unhappiness has gone up again. This priest is very good. Plus four to zeal. Plus one to zeal. Plus one to zeal. And see, so he can convert in the Americas. He's only 24, so he's going to be around for ages. Cool. So, first order of business. Upgrade this port. Fix the governor's mansion. And build roads. Let's get this region to start pumping out goods. And just check that the grand... Grand Columbia is not... Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Allied with Austria, Russia, and Prussia. Russia's not a problem. I'll move on Russia. Austria might be unfortunate. Cause I'm, tr no, I'm not trading with them. And Prussia is just Prussia. So it's unfortunate I'll be involved in a handful of wars, but at the same time, it's manageable. Oof. But for now, let's... Uh, Reinforce my armies. And let's get some. Let's get this fishing fleet on the go to try getting more people. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of internal. I know there's an emigration mechanic if you're from outside the territory. Um, but I'm wondering if there's some sort of internal. If there's some sort of internal um, mechanic as well. Because the trouble is, it wants more farms, but I've only got. Read animal, no, selective breeding for that one, and selective breeding for that. 14 turns of this university as it stands. My best bet is to secure Bogota and then secure Caracas, and use Caracas. Because they have tenanted farms, that's... Yep, they have a theatre, happiness building, which is good. They have two ports, but do they develop any more actual towns? No, by the look of it. I say maybe Cuba might become my next. And then again, Cuba does only has one town. So ideally, I would like two. I'd like to have two slots so I can build one educational building and one happiness building to offset it. go to Britain and see if we can trade some technologies. Oh my god. I can't offer them anything and they're miles ahead. Okay, let's offer them... Let's be really cheeky and offer them two grand tech. So I'm going to demand just selective breeding. I'm working towards fire by rank. 
offer two grand for selective breeding. Not unfortunate. Let's have a look at prestige. Holy moly, I am a tiny nation. <laughs> so I'm somewhere all the way down to Mughal Empire, Prussia, that kind of area. Okay, it's not so bad. To be honest, I mind having to send my gentleman, one of my gentlemen, up to try steel technology from America. So let's have a look. Oh my god. Yep. You are going to go up to Steel Research from New Haven. It's going to take you an awfully long time to get up there, but I'm going to need to do that. Right, and turn. Oh, I should have done some more investment. Hmm. I suppose there's a difference between having a minor and a major. Major nation late game has just been cranking up research for so long. So even though you start off on a positive. Um, research balance at the start of the game and the mages to start that much further ahead which I didn't know because I don't, really, I don't really play late late campaigns I don't really play um well, I don't play miners first stomp in the world as a major just kind of as an aside for my for my faction vote um Napoleon Total War Darth mod ended up just pipping the rest of the mods to the post so I've, I've installed Darth mod and I'm looking I'm definitely looking forward to, to starting a Napoleon campaign either as Great Britain or as France and I think I might do it as Great Britain because I have a particular affinity for Britain in the Napoleonic era then once I do that um, I wouldn't put it necessary to the vote but my next Napoleon campaign after that would be France. Like it proper Republic of France with the blue uniforms and the old guard and oh, those two are the ones I find the most interesting. Prussia, I find, while still interesting, I prefer playing Prussia in this game because the world's so much bigger. When you're playing Napoleon, it almost becomes that struggle of in Europe between Britain and France, the scope becomes much more... Plantations in this region. Building plantations here... Willy. Yep, I'll build plantations just to shut you up. I'm going for a governor's mansion here because A, this area doesn't produce much money, B, it's really out of the way, so I'm not really going to be buying troops. Well, El Paso. Good. The Sierra Madre. It's a shame we can't actually have a wilderness. Lano Estacado. Good, got my Imperial Palace up and built. It's one thing I might do with the, these remaining things is to build uh, a couple more Indiamen, start shipping them off to the trade theatres. How's the, There you go, trade is up and running. Excellent. Let's get another round of <coughs> another round of recruitment on the go. And then ship them down to attack uh, New Granada. War between Quebec and Grand Columbia. Cool. So I want to knock them out before. I want to knock them out before um, if Quebec sends an army down here because that'd be super frustrating. Hopefully it means. Oh, Quebec and Aust Russia are at war. Ooh, I have more ports. So I think because Quebec, we seem to be at war with Spain and. Ooh, you're at war with France and Britain. Eh. Let's trade. No. Not for, not for stuff. Let's see, just for laughs, let's see if I can trade with... No, I don't, I don't want to bother with the Barbary states. Even though they're allied with Greece. Boo. Georgia, Mamelukes, Persia. Persia's always a good one to trade with. I don't want that. Give me give me 5 by rank. I'll give you measuring tools for 5 by rank. How about that? I don't want wedge. How about that? Nope. Fine. 
Just want your money. Ah, let's do Portugal. I'm trading with Britain. <laughs> what, a, what a poor portrait. <laughs> he's got a fly on his nose and he's not. He's trying to find it. Oh, God alive. Venice. Why do people not want to trade Italian states? Maybe I do have to try the Barbary states. Nope. Nope. Didn't want to trade with Prussia because I'm at war with them. But maybe if I can make them friendly, they're not going to want to. They're not going to want to declare on me. Still, 8,000. Uh, Britain's being raided. Ottomans are being raided. The Prussians are out ready to go, though. But I need to start ramping up my exports of stuff. Once you've got fire by rank, that's pretty much the military tech I am the most bothered with. Then I'll go hard on the in, in the um, economic and industrial one. Socket bayonets would be good to do some just in case I want to charge, but. The main focus will be fly by rank. Because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Columbia won't have it because they're a miner like me. Russia will have it. In four turns, I'll have learned it. Yeah. Can you restart on the back foot in terms of tech? But all that does, it means that you cut your cloth to suit and you don't really want to start fighting major enemies too quickly. And I'm quite happy that my single Indiaman's not been interfered with that much. That's what gives me confidence to build more Indiaman and send out of there. Granted, I can't secure more trade nodes, but I can still add more onto the ones I've got to produce more goods. Let's have a bit of squash. Once I've started earning sufficient amounts of money, I'd like to start building more walls around my around my towns because I'm not that's not really a thing I've usually bothered with that much, apart from the ones that are critical. Let's go. Even though, even then, I'm not building Mexico. Um, but the trouble is, is right now all of my cities are valuable, so they're all worth defending in one way or another, and walls are just a such a damn effective way to do it. Cool. Population growth in this region has been sufficient. Ooh, new town. Excellent. You are very poor, but have a craft workshop. There we go. Panama has new roads. You can get cobbled roads, and you can get a governor's palace. And then let's get my Indiaman out theatre. Fifth Brig Galleon. Brig Fifth Diligente. God, the Colombians have got a hefty fleet. But what I'm eyeing up is can I send my fleet to go hoover up? some of these knackered, well, mostly this knackered Spanish fleet first. Can I send them out to hoover them up to capture some ships? So this will be a quick battle, um, but yeah, my focus is just to get more ships without having crew them myself. That's, I've always found that's the cheapest, most efficient way to expand your navy. Granted, you do end up picking up on picking up, um, picking lots of. Wow. Do not have the weather. Not one bit. Cool, cool. Fifth, fifth. Admiral, sixth. Santiago, sloop of war. Selecting the boarding button. Or. Ah, oh, nuts. I think I didn't do my 
follow line astern. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to say the least to watch them zoom all over the shop. But they are pretty knack themselves, so. Nine guns, 19 guns. Yeah, I don't know what I'm worried about. That just shows you how uh, insecure I am at my naval fighting ability. <laughs> I'm pretty much sailing into the wind. Well, yeah, I am. But there's not a lot I can do about it. So this is what we have to do to expand the Mexican Mexican Navy. We should find out how much speed you were making. Make all the guns in my fleet on the left. Broadside 125 shots. Yeah, she's going to get a cheeky little uh, little raking shot on me, but that's okay. It's important and my follow-up shots. Well, if I do that, I might be able to cut off this other ship, maybe. But it actually, it's going quite fast at full sail. Surrendered. Perfect. Oh, and this could be... Oh, if she was going head on. Speed up time a little bit. So watch the... This is how it makes a big difference when they're, when they're sailing full sail. And you fire chain shot. You really get to put the holes in, the, in, in her sails. So it's just... He's taken out three of my cannons, but it's already wavering. So speed up time. So chances are the next shot will be that shot will should make her. Well, she's she's still wavering. She still fancies her chances. But when they get out to this distance, start firing round shot to extend range. It's rather fetching ships. Then in Diligente, <clears throat> by the looks of it, Diligente is a captured Spanish ship. I think I just get my fifth into the action. And this Let's continue because I do want. There you go, this this ship. San Isidoro is getting some shots on. Close victory. The line and then scuttle the brig for cash. And there you go, so bring oh, I can't have two ships called Diligente. Admiral's flagship and this, no. Let's do that, then take Oh no. Let's keep her for now. I could fancy my chances and go for that fleet, and if you guys probably would. Um, but you're better, they're better at naval battles than I am, so I must take my victories carefully. Primarily, let's make this. What should I call a Mexican ship? I, think I could just be being horrifically offensive right now. I'm just typing in words that I find quite... I feel fit the, uh, fit the theme. 
cool. Oh, here's some my priest is done. So let's get him down to Panama. Could send a ship, but safer to just have him run around on land. Cool, that's that town that I'm building in. Excellent, end turn. Yeah, gentleman's on his way to steal more. Quebecians, I thought they were going to get smashed. The Navy of Grand Columbia is not having it though. Chasing them down to the edges of the world. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. My fleet is going to go and engage them for sure. Regardless or not. Regardless of their state of repairs. Cannot. I think if I'd capture that fleet. Um, I like to think they become prisoners of war rather than sinking. Rather than, you know, letting them all drown. Um, but for all intents and purposes... Uh, that stack disappears. And that's important. Because right now I haven't got the army to hold them off. And now with my superb infrastructure, if they landed in a, in a port... Um, they'd have a straight line to uh, New Mexico. To Mexico City. The Ottomans are being the Ottomans and they're just going to bundle up troops. Even though they've got a natural target right there in Greece. Still going to grind the game to a halt. Oh, look at that. A new gentleman. Is this guy even... Oh, he's adequate. Cool, so that's the new... F that's the... Oh, I'll build a major fishery then, I suppose. Okay, so you guys are under repair, but don't mean nothing. You're going to come and engage the San Martin and San Batista. Because of this stack with grenadiers and artillery. I'm not sure I resolve this one. Oh, I lost two ships. Not my ship, fourth race ships of the line. Oh, that was a bad idea. Sloop, sloop, cool, army. Keep, I oh, replenish this last unit of uh, fusiliers. Well, San Jose de David is growing, which is there. Dagestan has been destroyed. By whom? Russia? Russia's pushing down. Interesting. Oh, yeah, Poland has gone. The Quebec have gone Breslau. <laughs> and be apart from that, everything seems to be okay. The French have captured Brussels away from the Austrians. Nothing too crazy seems to have happened. Well, the Marathas are waging war against the British. We are trading. How's my trade doing? I'm supplying more stuff, but people are uh, interfering with free trade. Cool, two more turns to fly by rank. And then let's get this Indian over to the East Africa Trade Theatre. Boop. Sweet. And oh, that was the Indian I just sent. Cool. Right, so this army is preparing. I could. It'll take a long time for his frontiersmen to get down here. Can, what can I recruit? Nothing useful apart from frontiersmen. I don't know if I need it. To be honest, I think I'm just going to push in and see what happens. But looking at the, the timer, I think that's for the next part. So, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.